sexy. Kindness is sexy. Yes. Kindness is sexy. Kindness. Hi, it's Mary Ellen O'Neill Madeley with Kiss. Kindness is sexy. And today, I am with the lovely Lindsay White. She is part owner of Chico's Ristorante. Did I say it right? You did good. See? That was good. <laughs> today, we're actually talking about the things that you know I love to talk about, and that's kindness. Yeah. And Chico's does a lot of different things for the community. You are involved in a, an annual golf tournament yeah. that you've done um, for two organizations that I was part of and um, you also do different things like you sponsor teams and things like that. Let's talk about the golf tournament just for now and sure. who this year's recipient is for your charity golf tournament. Sounds good. So this year we're going to be doing uh, the RBH Foundation. Oh fabulous. As you know we have two locations. We've got Menacing and Barry. so every year we kind of try to switch it up. Last year we did the Menacing Minor Baseball Association which I love okay. um, and this year we've chosen to go with RBH and the reason for that I think is just because RBH is like the staple in our city. I mean it is the go-to hospital not even just for Barrie but for surrounding areas absolutely too. yes so we really we really wanted to kind of capture something that was going to give back to everybody and and that's kind of why we went with it oh I'm so glad yeah. there's a lot of different reasons that RVH is important um, different charities that I've worked for they access RVH whether it's because of mental health issues whether it's uh, you know people have been injured things like that it just depends on on uh, the cause itself and I believe that RVH as much as it does get a lot of funding it still needs a lot of funding it does it covers everywhere all of Simcoe County and beyond this year we kind of instead of just kind of picking a certain spot in the hospital we decided to go with uh, just patient patient support in general so if there are anything if there's anything that the hospitals working on raising money for in general that's where it will go just because we believe that they know where the money's best fit instead of keeping it personal we yep. decided to give it to where it needs to go so and that's important that. yeah. one of the things that you find when it, when you're a local business is that you um, people come to you all the time and it's nice to know that once in a while when you give you give money to someone or you do an event for them that it's done for what they need it for right. so that's a really good thing you sponsor a team because you do have the location here in Innisfil Barry it's like the south end of Barrie and north end of Innisfil, yeah. right in the center. Uh, and you also have the location in Minnesing. So you do um, Barrie charities, you do Innisfil charities, and you also do the Minnesing. Is it just the baseball? Uh, no, we do various different things in, in Springwater. Um, I mean, every year we do at Christmas time, we do a bread give back. So we it grew initially from just being a couple of loaves to over a hundred so every year we've been growing and growing with that hopefully we can contribute again this year to it again too like the the uh, baseball organization is one that's great for us we love Carl Luoma and we love that there are 250 kids that play baseball out there Wow so yeah it's great we we always sponsor a team out there we do golf tournaments um, the mayor the township of Springwater does one every year that we're always active in and they are so great in giving back to the community so we're happy to do whatever they need from us I used to work for the mayor of Springwater for four years absolutely loved him uh, John Brown okay and uh, he was one of my heroes and if he was still alive he would be all over that because he was a huge baseball fan. Yeah. He was a coach of the Bay Cats or a sponsor of the Bay Cats. Um, absolutely love that man. And Springwater Township has always been, you know, dear to my heart just because of that. Right. So it's nice to know that you, you take care of all the areas that are very important to me. We got to know each other because of a charity that I was involved with, and um, you had sponsored our charity, Youth Haven. Youth Haven will always be dear to my heart, and so will the kids. I'm Love hoping you, that, man. me too, and um, hoping that each of the kids are doing well. Not only do you give to these different charities in, in, our, in our area, but you also have other things that you do uh, to help out, whether it's a small community or a small initiative. What yeah. are those things? So I think in a restaurant, the key things that you can do is sort of share a little bit of your profits, um, make sure that you are giving back to the community, 
as mentioned to you previously, we've uh, sent some kids abroad to help build schools in other countries Aww. to make sure that they've got water and they're getting educated in other areas as well. We give uh, gift card donations a lot of the time to public libraries. Um, and we also give uh, military discounts. So if you have a veteran's card, we, oh. are, we offer a 10%. I love that. That is the nicest thing ever. My grandfather was a veteran and he has all his medals. Well, had all his medals. We lost him a few years ago. But um, he had all his medals and so, they get left behind a lot of times. And we appreciate the support. So if you dine with us, you can receive 10% off and we thank them. Aw, that's so sweet. Now we're going to talk a little bit about your restaurant itself. You have the Innisfil location. What's the address here? 170 Prince William Way. And it's Innisfil Berry? It's what Berry. It's classified as classified Berry. Classified as Berry. And you also have the Minnesing restaurant. And that address is? 1630 George Johnson Road, Minnesing, Ontario. What's your menu like? You have a patio here at the Berry location. Mm -hmm. So we uh, are primarily authentic Italian food. Um, traditionally, it started from Chico's family roots, uh, so we were really capturing his old culinary uh, experience, you know, growing up. And we've modernized a little bit, so we've got a little bit of a Canadian flair going on right now, but still, we try to maintain our, our Italian our Italian roots. So, it is authentic Italian food. We do homemade pizza, homemade pasta, homemade sauce and we're running Scratch Kitchen, so everything is made fresh. Nice. And the other thing is I have eaten here and I absolutely love the food. I can, I can tell you that you will not be disappointed. Do you have the same menu at both restaurants? We do, yep. Everything is the exact same between both restaurants. The only difference is the wine menu is a little bit smaller just because the restaurant itself was a little bit smaller and menacing. Um, here we've got a little bit more of a variety and in Minnesing we're offering a pub menu and we don't really offer those items here. Okay. Um, but yeah, essentially all of our, our basic Italian food items and our, and our core menu is exactly the same. And you have a great little bar area here as well. I absolutely love it. You. Um, you also have a patio. Is there a patio both locations or just the Berry location? Just this one for now. Who knows what the future holds. but. I mean, it's it's great. I love service I had last Thursday. I, it was the whole patio was full, and I was outside for my full service. Oh, like, that's it was, awesome! It was, it was great. It was, it was good. That's so fantastic. please come check it out. Yes, do not miss out on coming to Chico's and tasting their amazing food. Seriously, it is fantastic. You're not just your average restaurant that people just come to dine at. You actually do events as well. We do. Um, so we got a. You can't really see it on this video but we do have an amazing event space here um, we've definitely cleared the restaurant out and customized it to our guest likings we do baptisms communions we've done a wedding here Aww. so yeah the sky really is the limit and we're definitely uh, here to capture all of your party needs you are a business that gives back you're a business that um, is part of the community you're involved in the community and for me that is one of the things that touches me and I've always loved that about you from the minute that I met you you just happen to be one of those people that is very kind and sweet and I love that about you too oh thanks and I love working with you on events and charities we'll have to do more we do <laughs> yes like skydiving you skydive I'll watch I, um, well, I might do it again. <laughs> I have to admit, that was one of the scariest. Of oh, you might, you might find out you might like it. It's true. And then once you do it, you'll be like, okay, I need to do it again. So I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to try that one again. Okay, you let me know. And my husband, you know, you know that he jumped and he'd never even been in a plane. Right. And it was to raise funds for Youth Haven. And he has said to me that that's the last time that he's ever going to jump. <laughs> so but we'll he see. did it. He you did have to it. try it once. <laughs> that's right. So we'll work on you. So, so you do have your golf tournament coming up. And uh, if you can give me information as to when it is, where it is, and what you still need. Do you need prizing? Do you need sponsorships? What is that? Sure. So it's going to be held at the beautiful National Pines. Love Have that. Have you there before? Yeah. Well, I've had tournaments there. Oh, yeah, there. we did the tournament. That's right. Tournament before. <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, it'll be held at National Pines, and we still are accepting sponsorships. They're $200. We do have some foursome spots left available, Fabulous. which is $175 a person for, for, for golf, dinner, um, and the day. RVH Foundation will be on site. So will Rock 95. Awesome. And I can't wait. I hope the weather is, is good. It will be awesome. We'll just keep our positive little vibes out there. 
all will be good. And I personally know how much fun their golf tournaments are because although I didn't golf in it, I with the charity that, that you sponsored for um, the year that uh, I was involved, it was a great day to be out and meet fantastic people, great business owners. It's a phenomenal networking event. So if you're not a big golfer, is it best ball? It is best ball, so you don't have to be great. Yeah, and I've played in tournaments that are best ball, and I'm not a great golfer. <laughs> so, And it really was a phenomenal way to network with people. So get out there, give Lindsay a call. You can give us a shout at either location, uh, Barry 705-721-0005, Minasing 722-0001, or you can always email us at info at chicosrestaurante.com. As a business owner, what do you think is uh, a good amount to give back. We do realize that you can't give everything. You can't give to every person who comes in. Um, it's just not feasible. How can people give the best they can? Right, I think that it's important that you pick things that are true to your heart um, because I mean, ultimately as business owners, we're doing things that we're passionate about. So right. if you're passionate about you know, a certain cause, I think it's important for you to spend your time and, and money and energy to give it give to that essentially um, I mean people go through personal trauma so if you've mm -hmm. got or mental health is another one right um, I mean I've struggled with it at times in my life I'm sure you have or how people, many of us haven't know. exactly right so that's I, why youth haven was was so strong to me um, I know that there's some mental health there and just different issues that kind of resonated well with me but to answer your question what do I think is enough I think as long as you're not breaking the bank and you make sure that you're consistent um, and giving back what's affordable, what's within your budget, then you're doing a good job. And the nice thing that your that your business does is that you choose a different charity each year, so it helps you in all the causes that you believe in. Right. You don't have to do the same charity every year. Right. It's great if you can and support other charities, but the, the really nice thing is that you do one charity this year, another one the next year, and you support a different one in Barrie and then a different one in Minnesing so that both of them have a chance to, to right. you know, benefit from it. Right. And I think that's a beautiful thing. As we all know, kindness is sexy. And you cannot deny that Lindsay is one of the sexiest women that I have ever been lucky enough to know. <laughs> thank you. So thank, aw, thank you. And thank you so much for being a part of this and for allowing me to come in here and interrupt your day. Hey. And interview you. Mm -hmm. I hope that everyone takes the time to come out and test some of your food, whether it's here in Barrie or in Minnesing. And if not, if they get a chance to go out to your golf tournament, help sponsor, um, put in a foursome, either way, get out and get involved like Lindsay and Chico's Restaurante. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Kindness is sexy. Kindness is sexy. Kindness. Yes!